Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to install latest version of code blocks on the Windows operating system and after that I am also going to show you how you can easily use code blocks for writing C and C++ programming. So first you need to go to your favorite browser and to type over here code blocks download hit enter so that will show you this codeblocks.org just click on this download link and it's going to redirect to the official site of code blocks so this link i'm going to provide right in your channel description once when you are here you will see this download the binary release option so just click on that so when you click on that it's going to show you this windows download options all right so you, you are going to see all these different links from here remember to download code blocks which also has mingw setup all right so always download code blocks which also has a mingw setup so that mingw setup will basically help you to compile your c or c plus plus programming that you are writing on code blocks all right so it is very important to download code blocks which also has mingw compiler so you know i can't trace this enough so this is very important do not download anything else always download code blocks which has min gw setup that is basically this one so click on the sourceforce.net and it's going to redirect to this page and you can see your download will be starting shortly and you can see that our code blocks is rightly started downloading i have already downloaded it so i'm going to cancel this i'm going to minimize my browser i'll go to my download directory and here you can see that our code blocks version 25.03 is rightly downloaded over here and the file size is 403 MB so you simply double click on the installer that going to access for administrative privileges click on yes and you can minimize your download directory and here is our code blocks 25-06 is rightly opened so welcome to code block setup click on next so these are all license agreement you must read this I click on i agree after that and this is what i was talking at the very beginning of the video so you'll need min gw compiler suit so which is what this code block setup already has so you can see a tick mark icon also coming so this compiler min gw will be used to compile your c or c plus plus program all right so that's why I always told you to download code blocks which also has a MinGW compiler. So now you need to keep everything as default and click on next. So this is where our code blocks is going to be installed. Totally fine. Click on install. And our installation for code blocks is rightly begun. So our desktop shortcut also getting created over here. You can see that. Right. So let's wait for a couple of minutes over here. So we'll come back. So now you can clearly see that our code blocks is that been installed. It is telling whether it like to run code blocks now. So definitely we are going to run code blocks now and then I'm going to show you how to write C and C++ program. So I'll just simply click on yes. So completed, click on next and that going to and click on finish again. So that going to launch our code blocks version 25.03. next it's going to show you this compiler auto detection so here if you scroll down you will get this GNU GCC min GW compiler detected right so that comes with code blocks so if, so if you hover over this you can see that code blocks path also right coming so yeah so that is what I was talking at the very beginning of the video always download code blocks which also has min GW compiler so that min GW compiler is detected you can see under status it is telling detected so everything is good just simply click on ok and there you go so this is the interface of our code blocks so here let's first create a new file so you can always click on this icon and you can create a new empty file from here or else you can also go to file and hover over new and you can create a new empty file from here as well all right it is same thing so let's uh, close this and keep only one file open and write a simple hell world c program first so i'll start with the hash include 
stdio.h int main and I'm going to print hello world. So print hello world. Just end with a semicolon and we need to also return something. Let's, let's return zero. So we need to return zero because it is it is an int main method. So it expects some integer to be returned. So that's why we have written like that. Just go to file and save this file on our desktop as let's say hello world just simply click on save our file is rightly saved so now if you click on this run button it's going to tell you this to build now so click on yes so immediately it's going to start building And once when it gets successfully built it, it's going to show you the output on your console, hello world. So whatever you have written, so that exact output will, will be coming to your console. So in this way you can easily install and set it up your code blocks for C and C++ programming. If you are also interested in Python, I highly recommend you to follow this playlist. So all these videos, including some games, that I have created on Python so that also you can get and the best thing is whatever I have showed you on these videos so that detailed code also will be available on our geekscape.com official website so you can basically copy it and you can you know run it and detailed tutorial you can just simply follow by watching these videos all right and if you want, you can also check out our other videos like WordPress or Visual Studio Code for different programming languages, all that. And lastly, special thanks to the supporters of our channel. We are truly grateful to you guys. Supports like this really motivate us to create and improving these videos. Again, thanks a lot for being an essential part of our journey. Alright, so yeah, so that's pretty much all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.